First things first, hi, I'm Tom. Welcome to my review of Pokemon Journeys, episode 25. A battle fest, burning with life, versus Mega Lucario. Sash and Go arrive in the Kalos region, and wow, hey, there's Prism Tower. Are there any references to any previous companions like Bonnie or Clement? No, well, alright. Ash is in Kalos to enter a battle festival, where they make their way to Shallow City. And Go goes to do his usual Pokemon catching thing. So Ash fights a Claritza, and something really cool here is that he's got his team out their Pokeballs, watching him and Pikachu battle. So this is really cool, because we get to see them interact a little bit. Well, they don't really interact, but, you know, we get to see them together at least. So Claritza takes a Thunderbolt, and the Jim Leader Karina from Pokemon X and Y overlooks the match. Pikachu beats up Claritza. Ash's next victory will get him to the Super Class. Also, you can choose who you fight here at the tournament. So Ash is outside thanking his Pokemon, when he and Riolu sent something. It's a Lucario. Karina's Lucario. It and Pikachu recognise each other, and Karina makes herself known. She introduces herself to Ash's Pokemon, and tells Riolu that it hopes it gets strong with Ash. Karina has also entered the Pokemon World Championships, and is in the same position as him. One win will get her to Super Class. So they agree to battle, and Ash tells Riolu to pay close attention to Lucario. Reboot senses something in a bush. It's another Lucario, belonging to Gherkin. Go shows him the Pokemon he's got, and Go just needs a white flower for the baby to have them all. Gherkin tells Go that his granddaughter is fighting in the festival. Gherkin also mentions Ash when Go says he's from Kanto. And yeah, they have just a nice moment together on the Ash topic. So the battle is about to start. Karina asks for Riolu's support. Go and Gherkin arrive. It's absolutely great to see your character return. Lance being the first of this series, then Matori and some members of the Matori Matrix last episode, and now Karina and her grandpa, the Mega Evolution Guru Gherkin. They even recall their previous gym battle, and Ash just has a lovely moment by teasing her that he won that. The actual battle between Ash and Karina sort of threw the expectations I had out of the way. Firstly, I did think that Ash would win overall, and he did. And I expected Ash to quickly defeat Karina's first Pokemon and then her pull the match back with her Mega Lucario, but shockingly no. Gengar was caught off guard by Mien Xiao, and finished off by Lucario, who came out via U-turn, and it defeated Gengar with a Bone Rush. So Dragonite had to carry the whole match ascension on its back, and can I just say that it's a glorious debut match for it? It's really only fought in the ruins before, so this feels like it's real battle debut. As Timo Overhyped point out on Twitter, it looks like Dragonite uses Dragon Dance as a counter shield against Mien Xiao, which is a super cool callback as it powers itself up but also shakes off its opponent. It does eat a high jump kick from Mien Xiao and it does look like it does a fair amount of damage, but a Dragon Claw does put Mien Xiao down. So Lucario comes out Mega Revolves and oh my gosh, I just have to take a second to really praise the show here. So when Journey started, they replaced the previous composer Shinji Miyazaki with Yuki Hayashi, which is absolutely fine. But in this episode, they showed they can still use Miyaki's OST, as they brought back a track from Mega Evolution, and it is epic. And man, I really hope that they do consider bringing other Miyazaki tracks back, because, wow, it's really great to hear him back here. So we get another Dragon Dance, and Lucario is charging an Aura Sphere. Dragonite flies off, and we get the reel of its last move, which is Hyper Beam. It's a little disappointing, but it's alright. So a flurry of power-up punches then comes from out from Lucario, and it shoots Dragonite down, but the tough lad gets up. So Dragonite uses a Hurricane against the powered up Lucario, but Aura Sphere pushes Dragonite back. The two Titans collide with a Dragon Claw and a Power Up Punch. They both get up, and then after a moment, Lucario falls, and Ash takes the win, and he goes up to the Super Class ranking in the Pokemon World Championships. So Dragonite gives Ash a big hug after the match, and Karina apologises to Ash's Riolu, who's still super excited about the match anyway. After the Battle Festival, Karina says that it's not over, hinting at another possible return from her, and the episode ends with Ash and Go chasing a Flabebe. So this is definitely an amazing episode for the battle. As I said, it defied my expectations and it felt pretty tough. Having Ash on the back foot most of the time, he really earns the next ranking, but it feels like he still has a bit of room to grow with his new team. It was filled with suspense, it looked great, and it let Ash meet with someone we've grown to like in a previous series again to earn the new ranking. It's definitely a fantastic episode. Okay, one little issue I have with this episode is that I feel like it could maybe have referenced the XY series more than just the Shallow City gym battle. Now, it's still cool to see something like Go meeting someone else that Ash has met during his journeys, but something like a, hey, how's Greninja or Clement or whatever from Karina could have been nice. So yeah, that's just a little bit of a shame there. To be honest, the story outside of the battle feels a bit lacking, but the actual like story for the battle itself, I think that's pretty solid.